so excited. Today I'm going to be sharing a space with you here in my new home that I've never shown before. Hi friends of the twins, this is Rhonda and in today's video we're going to give this guest bathroom a much needed refresh. I say a refresh but I feel like I'm just kind of finally getting it how I want it. Now I am not in love with all of this brown. My new home has been completely renovated room by room through and through. So this is a new bathroom. If it were my choice, I would not have chosen this color tile though. But the craftsmanship, the work that they've done is absolutely beautiful. It is just flawless. So whoever did it did a great job. But I personally would have chosen a different color. But... I want to have a go at decorating it as is. I have other irons on the fire that are more important, so I am not about to start ripping out this new tile. I want to thank Parrot Uncle for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Now friends, this lighting that you just saw is the one that is out in my new sunroom that we had built, my flex room. And when you go to their site, you will see in just an abundance of all kinds of lights and stunning ceiling fans. I'll have all their information down in the description box for you. So this light fixture that, that I chose in this polished silver was received in about four or five days. So the shipping is really fast. And when we unwrapped it, it was just everything that I needed. I knew that I wanted a flush mount light in there. And I am so glad that I chose this one. I absolutely love this polished silver and the crystals on it y'all the crystals are just gorgeous they really kind of elevated this bathroom and gave me more of the look that i was looking for and so when i decided to do this refresh my thought process was to try and find a color that would complement the tile in the bathroom that you know the tile that i'm not too crazy about and I decided to go with a gray color. Now, friends of the twins, these are the same curtain panels that I have hanging in my formal dining room. I love the color of them. And I also love that they have this shiny fabric. But as you saw there, they were only 84 inches. And while that probably would have been long enough, I kind of had the thought, you know, it's a normal size bathroom. It's not, not very large not too small it's kind of just right you know i knew that i wanted to try to add a little bit of height and i wanted to take the shower curtains if you will i wanted to take them all the way to the ceiling so what i did was they came two in a pair i bought two pair so i had a total of four panels and I measured and I knew that I wanted to have about 95 inches. That's what I would need from ceiling to floor. So I got busy cutting and I hand sewed the extra panel on because I did not want to chance it using like a um, hemming tape or anything like that because with this shiny material, the least little thing kind of stains it. So you have to be careful with it. So I decided to hand sew that part and I also love the fact that they gave me a little extra crystal they had there. And then with the crystals that I took from the cut up pair, you know, the cut up panel, I decided that I would go ahead and glue those on. I, it only took just a little bit, just a dab will do. And it actually came out perfectly. So, you know, it really wasn't hard at all. The main thing for me was measuring, measuring top you know the ceiling to the floor so I knew exactly how many inches that I wanted and then just kind of taking my time I really didn't mind doing the hand sewing it was kind of therapeutic if you want to be honest I just put me on a good movie and I got right here on the floor and this is how it came out and I think it came out just beautiful and I would tell you if you need to add a couple of inches to get the desired length that you want, do not be afraid of the process. Alright, so I brought in my step stool and I got busy getting these panels hung up. I also wanted to mention to y'all, you can see it a little bit there on my left, that brown cabinet. It is great for storage and I can tell that it is brand new, but it is also, you know, it's not something that I would have chosen. I had the idea to paint it, but like I said, I'm going to try to see what I can do, 
you know, as far as decor, refreshing the space and kind of, um, you know, changing things up just with decor first. And then somewhere down the line, I might end up actually changing out that cabinet. But probably before I even did that, I would paint it. I would go that route and then maybe change it out. So we have the wood cabinet there. I said, let me go ahead and find me a little storage cabinet and let me try wood. You know, just kind of go with what I already have. Don't fight the system too much. Don't go against the grain. Just kind of go along with it. And I found this gorgeous cabinet at Home Goods, and I'd already pre measured my space, so it fit perfectly. And I also love the fact that it does not project from against the wall too much, so that was a great thing. And the detail on it, you know, I absolutely love the mirror effect as well. I love the wrought iron handles on it and it will certainly be adequate space. This bathroom is used primarily by my daughter, but it will be used by guests when they are here in the home also. And friends of the twins, I want to tell you that I found these panels on Amazon. Now I looked for them in 96 inches, but they were out of stock. And I really did want to try this color. So that's why I went ahead with the 84 inches and just ordered extra. I will leave them linked down in the description box for you just in case anyone is interested. And then I found for the wall art, I found this beautiful painting and it came from Home Goods. It was $39.99. And then I found these pretty baskets. Now I feel like these are going to be perfect for my daughter's storage needs. She's 24 and she's very girly, all of these different things. So these are just perfect. And now the towels. Now I bought these probably when the holidays started, the holiday season. So yes, they do have snowflakes on them, but I am going to roll with it because I absolutely love them. Friends, I am so excited to be able to cross this space off my list. I knew, you know, coming into the new house, I had to, and I want to take my time and put my spin on things. And so I'm so happy with how it came out. This cabinet is just perfect. On top, in the on the left canister there, we have her Epsom salt. My daughter does like to take her Epsom salt baths. And I have a little gold scoop in there for her. I'll be on the lookout for one in a polished silver, but for now the gold accents just perfectly. And if you'll notice friends, I did change out the curtain panels. The gray was pretty, but I wanted to go with a lighter feel in there. I didn't want anything to be too heavy. I wanted it to have a light and airy and plush kind of feel. And friends of the twins, the camera does not do this justice. The room is so plush and it is light and airy. It is exactly how I wanted it. Like I said, in the future, I will make some decisions concerning the wooden cabinet that you see there and as well as the brown towel. But for now, I am pretty happy with how it came out. The 96 inch panels that are accenting the shower curtain are drama, drama, and more drama. So when it came to the tile bars, I didn't want to do too much. I love the fact that the towers are white and you really have to look at them good to even be able to tell that they are snowflakes, but I don't care. I think I, you know, I absolutely love the pattern, the detail on them. With this style of sink, there is no countertop space. So what I did was I bought a polished silver tray and I filled it with my guest towels. And I also just keep a roll of toilet tissue there. And then as we take a look here at her storage, I have in the bottom there all of the cleaning supplies and the other three storage bins have her things, her hair curlers and her brushes, you know, her beauty supplies and that type of thing. And it is absolutely perfect. So 
combining this cabinet with the additional storage space that she has on the wall cabinet she has more than enough you know to keep her things neat and organized and she absolutely loved it then here at the top of the table once again with the tile bar i have kept it minimal you know here on this cabinet this countertop here the canisters are the drama so i just didn't want to do too much i absolutely love it i hope that you all have enjoyed it if you're new to our channel and you have indeed enjoyed the content we would love for you to hit the subscribe button and become an official friend of the twins we also want to let you know that we have introduced super thanks here on our channel it is a way if you're not familiar with it for you to leave us a tip if you will as always shonda and i we want you to make the life that you live a life that you love not anybody else you do what you want to do in your home your life you make the life that you live a life that you love because life is short thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one